Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. From 1975 until 1988, my mother kept this school records book for me, a history of my entire 13 grades of school. I started kindergarten in September of 1975. I weighed 34 pounds. I had scarlet fever while I was in kindergarten. I don't remember it, but I was told I nearly died from it. And here's my bus pass. Here's what I looked like in first grade. I have this valentine that my teacher gave me. It's now 37 years old. In 1977, I started second grade. I had gained over six pounds. I had chicken pox on February 15th, 1978. And I do remember that. It was very itchy. Here I am around the time of third grade standing next to some plastic flowers in a suit. My cursive is still a little shaky. In fourth grade, I started a new school. I received this medal for the 1980 Math Olympics. It still has the chocolate in it. My fourth grade teacher built a teepee out of paper bags. It was in the corner of the classroom. As a reward for good classwork, you could get these passes to spend time in the teepee. We all drew designs on the paper teepee, and we were allowed to cut ours off and take them home at the end of the year. And I still have mine, this colorful teepee that I painted. At age 10, I was in fifth grade. Some people think that I am sitting on a toilet in this photo, but I assure you that I am not. I now weighed an astounding 48 pounds. This is to certify that Paul Petrosky has begun to bone up on reading. This says that in fifth grade, I was reading at a seventh grade reading level. I also still have my bus patrol pin. In 1981, I started sixth grade. Here I am holding an Atari joystick while my sister photo bombs me. I started a new school where we needed locker combinations. Here's my library card. In the seventh grade, I finally attained a weight of 60 pounds. Here's my hall pass. Looks like I used the restrooms a lot in October. In eighth grade, my extracurricular activities were noted to be never ate a school lunch. I have my nickname down as the Newt. I have no recollection of anyone ever calling me that, and I can think of no reason why they would have. I started ninth grade in 1984. It's the first time I signed my name as Weird Paul. Here's a Scantron quiz strip from biology class. I only got four correct out of 15. Yikes. Some of you may have seen the video of me in ninth grade learning to swim. The swimming coach gave me this card certifying that I'd passed the tiny tot swimming test. It was more embarrassing than an honor. Here I noted that I used the bathrooms only twice that whole year and once kids were smoking so I left rather quickly. By 10th grade, my weight had ballooned to 100 pounds. I was starting to become pretty disenchanted with school. I hate school. I hate school. I started 11th grade at the age of 15, and I'd already lost a pound. Must have been a crash diet. There was a long teacher's strike then, so we had very little vacation time during that school year. This made me hate school even more. I hate school. It really is bad. Okay. I started 12th grade in 1987, and my weight had soared to 104 pounds. I was actually nominated in senior recognition for wildest hair. However, I lost to Kip Patterson. But I did leak gas out into the chemistry lab by pulling out a lit Bunsen burner. I got this note at the end of the year from my AP lit teacher. It says, Dear Paul, life will never be dull for you. You won't allow it. This teacher summed up my life as well as anyone could. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. See you soon. Thanks, YouTube.